In this video, we will prove the so-called reverse triangle inequality. This states that if we have two real numbers, a and b, then the absolute value of the difference of the absolute values of a and b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. For the proof, we'll start from the absolute value of a, which is the same as the absolute value of a minus b add b. Then applying the triangle inequality, we have that this is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b plus the absolute value of b. If we move the absolute value of b to the other side by subtracting, we obtain that the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. We then keep this inequality. Starting now from the absolute value of b and applying the same reasoning, we have the absolute value of b is the same as the absolute value of b minus a add a. Applying the triangle inequality again, we have that this is less than or equal to the absolute value of b minus a plus the absolute value of a. But notice that the absolute value of b minus a is equal to the absolute value of b minus a is minus 1 times a minus b. Since the absolute value of a product is the product of the absolute values, this is equal to the absolute value of minus 1 times the absolute value of a minus b. The absolute value of minus 1 is 1, and this is multiplied by the absolute value of a minus b to give the absolute value of a minus b. Substituting this above, we have the absolute value of b minus a is the absolute value of a minus b plus the absolute value of a. Moving the absolute value of a to the other side by subtracting, we obtain that the absolute value of b minus the absolute value of a is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. If we multiply this inequality by minus 1, we change the signs and get minus 1 times the absolute value of b minus the absolute value of a, or minus the absolute value of b plus the absolute value of a, which is greater than or equal to minus the absolute value of a minus b. Rewriting this, we have minus the absolute value of a minus b is less than or equal to, we put first the absolute value of a, and now minus the absolute value of b. So, we have minus the absolute value of a minus b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b, and this is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. That is, we have that a number between minus a positive number and that same positive number. So, the absolute value of that number is less than or equal to the positive number, and we have the desired inequality.